Hello all. In this video, we are going to learn, uh, see a program which is uh, uh, where you will give some decimal number and that one will be converted into your binary number. Okay. So generally, the conversion of decimal to binary is uh, done by dividing the given decimal number by two. So you will you need to get the remainder as well as portion so that number of times it will be divided. And finally, you need to get the values in the form of zeros and once suppose if i take the value as 7 okay 7 divided by 2 that is modular division first i wanted to find out the remainder right so 7 modulus of 2 if you do 2 3 is a 6 right so 6 uh, 1 will be remainder right so that one will be your first one again the leftover remainder one is 3 is there right so again that 3 will be divided by 2 again so that time what will happen 2 ones are Two, right so when you will see that the remainder is again one so what you need to consider is from the bottom you need to go to the top so what is the binary value of seven is you know as you know it is triple one <clears throat> right so in that format so in order to implement that one uh, in this program i had took the concept of functions actually so as usual when you'll start with hash include std io dot h uh, you will your cursor will move to the main so here is my main where i'm declaring an integer variable n and i'm asking user to enter particular any number any integer number to convert it into the binary and i'm reading that value into the variable n and des to uh, decimal to binary is my function where I wanted to pass this value n. So I'm whatever the value you're trying to give, that one will be passed to this particular function, right? So whenever this uh, this statement will be executed, you whenever your cursor reaches this particular statement from this main function, your cursor will move to the function which is called so which function i was calling is i'm calling this deci to de deci to binary where it requires some n value so from that main function you are passing the n value to this particular function right and uh, the other one is um, it is not going to return any value because i was just trying to print the same binary value in this uh, function itself so that is the reason i had kept here void <clears throat> Next, so what are my requirements here is I need two, vari uh, two integer variables, one for uh, reading how many that how many number of ones we require and the uh, other one is you need to take another j variable in order to print the value because when you are taking seven and you are dividing it by two, you are going to get three digits, right? One, one, one. So those three values, I wanted to store it into the array and I wanted to print that back, uh, print that array back, right? So for that reason, we are taking an int binary num of size 32, any any values you can take, but we I had took the value 32. And as I said, I want two variables, one for uh, counting those values and the other one for printing. So first, what we are trying to do is, first we are trying to convert it. So for the conversion of that particular number into binary, we are using this one. So while n greater than zero, as I said, n value is greater than zero because you need to give some decimal value, right? So any decimal value you can give, if you give five or seven, whatever the thing, it has to be greater than zero. Num binary num of i. So what is the uh, initialized value is for i is zero. That is in binary num array at the zero at the position, what you're trying to store n modulus of 2. So if I give 7, n modulus of 2, I'll get reminder as 1, right? So that 1 will be stored in ith value, that is 0th position of that particular array. Next, after that, what I'm trying to do, n is equals to n by 2. So what is my n value now? As I said, it is 7, right? So 7 by 2, what do I get? I get the, now in this statement, I'll get the quotient. In this statement, I'll get the reminder. So what is my quotient now? It is 3, right? And next, what I'm doing, I'm inc simply incrementing the i value. So now my i the position will be from 0, it will move to the 1. Again, you will check the value. N, n value, what do I had? It, I had the value 
3. Yes, 3 is greater than 0. So, again, you will enter into the while loop. And again, you will check binary num of i. What is my i value? Now, i value will be 1. 1 is equals to that is uh, array the position of 1 is equals to n modulus of 2. So, what is my uh, n value now? It is 3. 3 modulus of 2. Again, you will have the remainder 1. Right? So, that one will be stored in the first position. Zeroth position is already completed. Now, we are in the first position. So, the second one will be stored. So, coming back here, n modulus of n by 2. So, here what will happen? 3 divided by 2. So, what will happen here again? Your 3 will be divided by 2 and you will get the quotient. So, 3 ones are, sorry, 2 ones are, you will get the 3, uh, sorry, reminder 1, right? So, quotient value is now 1. So, next you are incrementing the i value. So, now my i value is again uh, from 0, 1, 2, right? So, what is my n value now? n value is 1. 1 greater than 0? Yes, condition is true. 1 modulus of 2. So, modulus is again the reminder. So, the final value, we are, what do we get here is again 1. So, now you will get the value as 0. Then you will increment the i value. When it is greater than 0, that is when you will divide 1 by 2, you need to get some pointed values, right? So, at that time, it is n value will become less than 0 and that you will just simply quit from the while loop. What is my i value finally stored here? i value was 3, right? So, this is what happening in when you are trying to convert. After converting, I wanted to print the value. So, uh, uh, as you know, the rules when you are trying to convert from decimal to binary, you will always move from lowest position to the highest position. So, we need to print array in the reverse order, right? So, for that reason, we am taking i j is equals to i minus 1. i minus 1, why, do, why did I take? Because array value always starts from 0. That is the reason. If j value is greater than or equals to 0, you just print the uh, binary num of i. That is, uh, sorry, binary num of j. Why I am taking here j is we are assigning j value to i minus 1. So, what is happening from the back side, you will come towards front and then you will reduce the value. So, again, you will check that. So, like that, how many, num how many digits are there? Those many times the reverse value will be printed. And finally, you will exit from this uh, function also. Which function? So, conversion is done. Printing is also done. And then finally, you are quitting from that DC to binary. And again, your cursor will come to this point after printing, right? So, then you are you will execute this return 0 because I had kept int main. And then finally, you will come out of the main function, right? So, this is what is happening in our conversion of decimal to binary number. So, once let us compile and do this one. <clears throat> yes, no errors are there. Then click on run. So, I had given the value 7. So, 7 value is triple 1, correct? Right? So, let us give some other value also once again. Simply run it again. I don't want it to compile. So, I'll give 5. So, see, 101. One, correct? Right? So, this is how you are uh, going to do the conversion of decimal to binary in our C language. Hope this is clear for everyone. Thank you.